Legal experts say this case has everything to do with standing. That's a legal term, which is a legitimate claim to a lawsuit in federal court. And as you mentioned, the same Supreme Court justices that overturned Roe v. Wade unanimously found that this particular case did not have standing. In order to bring a lawsuit in federal court, a plaintiff has to be injured in a meaningful way by the federal government. Elizabeth Sepper is a law professor at UT Austin. She says in the case of the abortion pill Mifepristone, there was no standing and therefore no real route for the Supreme Court to hear the case from a group of anti-abortion doctors who want the FDA to restrict the medication. Here are these physicians aren't regulated by the FDA, they didn't provide any mifepristone to patients, they didn't treat patients with mifepristone, nor were they injured by taking mifepristone. The FDA first approved mifepristone 24 years ago, and according to medical experts, it was used in nearly two-thirds of all abortions in the U.S. last year. Thursday's ruling is the first time the Supreme Court has made an abortion decision since they overturned Roe v. Wade two years ago. What does this mean for Texans and Texans' uh, ability to obtain mifepristone? Abortion remains banned in Texas and that uh, it remains illegal to perform abortions, including dispensing or mailing medication abortion. Um, but it is clear that lots of Texans are accessing uh, mifepristone and misoprostol, the two drug reg regimen for medical abortion via the internet. Professor Sepper adds this latest ruling may also serve as a clear signal that the U.S. Supreme Court isn't interested in taking cases from plaintiffs who are gaming their way through appeals processes to get to the high court. And it was a real, uh, I think, wake up call for the Court of Appeals of the Fifth Circuit as well, um, that standing is important and that plaintiffs need to have standing. So we understand that while this case, at least for now, is over, the Supreme Court is scheduled to take on one more abortion-related case this term, and that one has to do with hospitals not turning away patients needing emergency abortion procedures.